Hey folks, we know you're anxious, anxious. Just for the first half breakdown. season is still only just getting underway but as a player RJ how valuable is it to get things started the right way it is so valuable because as coaches say plays that often start bad in bad and it's the same thing with seasons if seasons start bad there's a higher probability of them ending bad so you want to get off to a good start you want to show up ready to go so the next starting five Durant is the four with Claxton playing the five Simmons is out there with Kyrie Irving and it's O'Neal in it, the small forward. Kuzma passes to Persingas. And he overshot that one, missing. Simmons looking it over. Durant, no good. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for Washington. Over Simmons. Simmons with the defensive effort. Brooklyn's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. I briefly spoke with Wes Unsell Jr. He's looking for his guys to put up a terrific performance tonight, especially at the defensive end. The first meeting of the season between these two. Guys, we'll see how it comes out. Thank you, David. Obviously, they feel that's the strategy that will earn them the W. And Kevin, when you're disruptive defensively, especially early on, that can help change the complexion of the rest of the game. And that priority on defense establishes a team-first mentality. Guys have to work as a unit. It's a good mindset to get into early. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. And sometimes getting that first bucket puts momentum in your corner. But we'll just have to see. Now here's Beal. And Porzingis gets it to go on the assist from Beal. Hey, they've broken the seal. Three misses to start, but now they're in business. Simmons passes to Claxton. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Back to Simmons. Duran sets a screen for Simmons. Shot clock at five. Puts it up from 15. It's hauled in by MP. Just haven't found their offensive footing yet, only managing to sink one of their first five shots. And after all the drama and wanting out, Kyrie Irving remains a net. Feels like a bit of a farewell tour, but winning can heal all, and you never know what the future may hold, especially with Kyrie. Durant. Outside for Simmons. Ruzingas with the steal. Passes to Beal. Back to Porzingis. Seven-foot shot, and there it is for him. Porzingis has got his second basket of the night. And, and nice use of size by Porzingis inside, able to practically play on top of the deal. Here's Irving, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle. a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. Even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. Now here's Wright to the inside. Here's King over O'Neal. No good off the back of the rim. The Nets have gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Irving against Wright. Irving misses. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniff that one out. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. Show who is the most active defensively. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, 
Irving against Beal. Nifty move. A rebound by the Nets. Simmons dishes to Durant. The pass to Claxton. Down low. Ruzingas with the steal. It's right on the wing. Pass to Beal. Clock at six. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals they jump. Hey. On the clock, Kuzma kicks to right. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. KD against Kuzma. On the wing, Irving. Hands it from downtown. And that makes it a tie ball game. <laughs> the elevated playmaking of Durant. Passes like that really bring the team closer together. Right with a screen on Irving. From 10 feet out. No good there. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Just doing the job on the backboard. KD passes to Simmons. Here's Claxton. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And here is Durant. Last game we saw him score 32. A miss that time would have put him up. Yeah, and he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. King against Irving. MP kicks to Beal. A three-pointer is right on target. Nice feed by MP, a popular guy in this locker room. Irving passes to O'Neal. Takes the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's King. In the game against Philadelphia, very impressive. Goes back up. He lays it in. Okay, go ahead and flex on him, MP. Nice hustle for that second chance bucket. And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. Trailing by two. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. And in terms of intensity, they, they kind of took the night off. It looked like they were just going through the motion. Yeah, you hate to be critical, but that's part of our job. You have to call it the way we see it. That night, they were flat. And Brooklyn has possession after the basket by Washington. Here's KD. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Simmons, and he can't bank that one in. Washington leading now by four. On the wing, MP. Guarded by KD, right outside. The wide open look here for Kuzma. And again, Washington with the triple. And he's what I call a prepared shooter with strong fundamentals. Kuzma is a capable threat from the perimeter. 2022, Greg, a year for the Washington Wizards with some historic significance. And it marks 25 years of the Washington Wizards' name being on an NBA jersey. A cool moment for the current players who can look back on this franchise and know they're a part of history. Now here's Porzingis after Ben Simmons' miss. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Outside Irving. Pass to Claxton. He kicks to O'Neal. To the middle. Deflects the pass. Beal with the steal. Right the pass to King. Outside Beal. Back to King. Inside, for Zingas, whistle blow.
Hachimura. Beals jumped in for Kisper. And it's DeLon right in for Morris. And a new group in for the Nets. Royce O'Neal's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Thomas comes in for Seth Curry. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Edmund Sumner. And Simmons subbed in for Patty Mill. Beal gets a wide open look. No good on the triple. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. They've got Simmons. O'Neal is out there with Durant. Then it's Thomas. And it's Irving in at the one. And that's where Simmons wants to operate as a score. Foul line down. Wizards leading by 13. Beal the pass to Persingas. And there's the call on Durant. With three fouls already before the half. Beal against Thomas. Shot from 12. Frozen. Guy is just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, Kristaps Porzingis famously earned the nickname the Unicorn for his combination of size and skill. Former All-Star, injuries have held him back. But now a new team presents a new opportunity. KP says, I'm going to take my game to the next level because my body is going to be healthy, and that's it. Well, Kevin, let's hope so. Absolutely. He has had injuries along the way, but the talent is obvious. David, thanks. Inside, MP does a good job of just asserting himself, doing what needs to be done to get that finish. Here's Irving. Kuzma pulls it in. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Wizards passing it around. With the fadeaway. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Yeah, a sensational shooter. Porzingis really is a unicorn. Thomas against Beal. Thomas, no luck. Wizards leading by 17. Kuzma outside. Passes it to Persingas. Kicks to right. Back to Persingas. Just four to shoot. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. Here's Kuzma. And it's Durant with the rebound. Durant's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Well, KD still a net after asking for a trade. The, the team looked, but didn't feel a deal was there. And Durant will continue to play. But you feel like this story could drag on until the trade deadline or beyond. MP kicks to Kuzma. It's right on the wing. Shot clock at six. King right side. Three pointer. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Thomas against Beal. And there's the pass to O'Neal. It's Durant on the wing. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Durant's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And Wright kicks to Beal. Wright sets a screen for Beal. The kick out to Wright. The three. Rebounded by the Nets. Simmons got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Knock loose. And here we go. Washington fast break. MP with the ball. And maybe not the most explosive player in the league, but Beal has the athletic ability to finish strong at the rim.
Here's Irving. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Chicago. And how about the passing? We've seen this from him. He's just absolutely shredding the D to pieces right now. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, it's the Nets missing. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Persingas with a screen on Tunks. Beal the pass to Persingas. It's Thomas on the wing. Outside, KD. Goes up the baseline. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. What I like about Durant is his shot selection. That's why he's a 50-40-90 guy. Just such an intelligent shot taker. In the corner, it's MP. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got his third assist on the night. KD looking around. And KD throws it down. What an athletic play by Durant. This man, what can't he do? And Wright kicks to Kuzma. Wright sets a screen for Kuzma. Pop pass to Porzingis. And stolen by Simmons. And here comes Thomas leading the fast break. Shoots over Beal. That one wide left. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But Cameron, second person to Getting fouled. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Ben Simmons. And it's Mills in for Thomas. GA, he's asked to carry a big time scoring, load, but Bradley Beal makes his teammates better as well. And that's an area, Kevin, he has really grown in his playmaking when the defense overcommits, you make them pay with the pass. O'Neal against King. Out to Kuzma. Back to King. Wizards passing it around. Six to shoot. Persingas sets the pick for Beal. And the three off target. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Irving. Over Beal. Will not go. This is off the front eye. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Three-pointer right. Rebounded by the Nets. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Wizards team. And although they were the better team last year by overall record, this was a competitive matchup for them. Waxed in the pass to Mills. That three off the mark. Wizards leading by 21. MP kicks to right. King against O'Neal. Porzingis sets the pick for Beal. And again, Washington no good. Brooklyn's gone 2 of 4 from three-point range so far in the second quarter. O'Neal dishes to Durant. Irving from long range. And it's King with the rebound. King's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Kuzma. Rebound, Brooklyn. KD's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To end the drought. Trills the three-pointer. KD's got ten points now just in this quarter. Kept in for Pazinkas. Hachimura comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Kispers checked in for Bradley Beal. And Morris subbed in for DeLon Wright. And then for Brooklyn, Curry's checked in for Royce O'Neal. And Edmund Sumner's subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Kispert, no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Back to Curry. The tray. Morris with the rebound. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. King, the pass to Morris. King inside. Started by Kirk. King's shot is off. And Gafford throws it down. I tell you what, he is one guy you do not stand in the way of when he decides to 
attack the master. Trail by 20. Outside Durant. They set the pick. High post shot. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for 10 shooting. And Durant's jumper is as pure as it gets. You just assume ahead of time it's going in. Tries from 10. Morris with the bucket. And the Wizards lead by 20. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Nets. It's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Hornets. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. That one goes. Count it. His shot has been on point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. Here's Morris, and Morris throws it down. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, a man is going for the jumper. Brooklyn's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Durant against Hachimura. With that miss, he's now made six and missed six from the field. Wizards leading by 20. 34 seconds left in the second quarter. Pass to Kispert. Morris with the ball. Six points for him. From past the arc. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Gafford. Washington leading now by 18. And after that trade request this summer, Kevin Durant still a Brooklyn net. The, the offers weren't enough to move the needle, and the decision was made to run it back. One thing's for sure, when you've got KD, you've got a chance. Kuzma will step in at the four. Porzingis at center. Bradley Beal is out there with Wright, and it's King at the three. That's the group on the four right now for Washington. Creative move by Durant. That's a big flex on the defense. On a Ray t, t 5G slam cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. The Wizards shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Hey, yo, right here. Simmons against Wright. Porzingis, that's a two. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Porzingis has got 14 points. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Well, we know Simmons can do this. At 6'11", I don't know that anyone in the league has his vision. Back to Porzingis. No good on the shot. The Nets go the other way with it. High post, KD. He's got 16. And contact on the shot. He's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Great. What do you think of that? Well, Steve's had a first-hand view coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan. He didn't say greater, but more gifted. Uh, I think it's a conversation. Back to Porzingis. Nice pass. Let him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Porzingis has got four points this quarter. Keep getting it to this man. I mean, once Porzingis catches fire, there is no putting that out. Outside Durant. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. Kevin Durant, two shots. 
to thank, to, to thank you. I, I think LeBron James was outstanding to play with just from a camaraderie standpoint, and he always wanted to make the right pass, which, you know, for pundits, they complain about it, but for a teammate, you love it. You love playing with a guy that tries to play the right way night in and night out. His understanding of the game must be off the charts, correct? It, it is so ridiculous the way that he just sees the game before it's happening. He is easily one of the smartest players that I have ever been around. Irving looking for an opening. Shoots over Beal. A nice shot by Irving. Irving's got six points. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. A little shot fake there got the D out of position. He's got 18. And what a luxury to run pick and rolls with Porzingis. He can roll to the basket or pop out for that jump shot. And then Durant with the dunk. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Porzingis with a screen on Irving. And the dunk by Porzingis. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. This is a Joe O'Neal. KD against Kuzma. Durant inside. And one points in the game. That one's not going to go. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thanks, Kevin. Wizards ownership has promised to never hit the hard reset button. We saw from teams in recent years like the Sixers. But the fact remains that this is a franchise that last enjoyed a 50-win season in 1979. So for the patient, diehard fans in the DMV, seems the wait for a true contender may take a lot longer. Kevin? Uh, well, time will tell, David. Thanks. And foul on the shot. over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. King outside. Last season, of course, Marcus Smart from the Defensive Player of the Year. You know, Greg, it, it's rare to see a guard win it. Should perimeter players get more consideration from this point on? Uh, it's tough, Kev. I, I do think they should. I think the, the numbers, though, tend to favor the rim protectors, but it's only right to recognize great defense at every position, especially in an age of positionless basketball. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Curry is out there with Thomas. Then it's Simmons. And it's Durant. And it's Irving at the shooting guard. That three is no problem for MP. You know he's put in the work because these shots now seem like layups. Here's KD. Hits the jumper in space. KD's got 14 points here in the second half. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. Porzingis sets the pick for Kuzma. 
And the shot goes in from Chris Depps for Zingas. For Zingas, he's got 27. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And two fouls. Ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players 7 2 and up, not great. And, and today's game demands more movement from big men than ever before. Sharp checked in for the Nets. Beal finds Porzingis. And they've got the star power, and they've got the market. you got an ownership that is willing to pay for it. They will do everything, but ultimately, it's going to be the players and how they perform on the court that will dictate how the success is viewed. The infrastructure is there. Now can they get the players to fill the role? Pizza. Image of the calm. You're, you're on TV. You got to keep it together. However, I think that as a society, we're a little more tolerant of certain words that are used in public. Deal with a screen on Curry. King with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. MP kicks to Beal. Irving against Wright. Six on the shot clock. He can't get that one to fall. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Thomas dishes to Irving. Duran sets a screen for Irving. And again, no good by Brooklyn. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. The pass to Beal. In the corner, right with it. Persingas sets the pick for right. Pass to Persingas. And the call on the shot. Edmund Sumner's subbed in for Thomas. Well, Greg, analysts evaluate player performances on the floor, and sometimes we've seen the players fire back. They're not happy with the criticism. You know, it, it's a risk you take, but if you treat everyone with kid gloves, you're really not doing your job. The, the audience expects a level of honesty, and, and quite frankly, players don't mind you criticizing their game. It's when those critiques become personal. Now Curry. It's stolen by Morris. And here we go. MP heading to the hoop. And MP throws it down. Got up the court in a hurry. MP with an easy bucket. Now here's Irving. Pass to Sumner. Back to Irving. Passes it to Curry. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Kuzma. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Washington's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Beal deciding where to go with it. Porzingis sets the pick for Beal. That shot off. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Here's Sumner. And the pass to Mills from outside the arc sinks the triple. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. And here is Morris. Driving the lane. The game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until you start getting a little longer in the two. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for Washington. The Nets also changing it up. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Edwin Sumner. 
Durant comes in for Seth Curry. And it's Ben Simmons in for Patty Mills. Okay, I'm going to tell you something that everyone knows or should know. When Durant turns it on, there is no slowing him down. That's how lethal of a scorer he is in NBA history. Kuzma, got a hand on it. Outside, Simmons. And he could not get that one to go. It up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.